This betting strategy is so good, Bet365 restricted me from betting with them. Put simply, I was winning far too much. So in this video, I'm gonna reveal the full strategy and share a 52 page account statement with all the bets that got me banned. Hopefully, it will put the naysayers' concerns to bed. Anyone can use this method on any sport when the numbers are right because it's mathematically sound. I'll show you with an example in just a second. But before I dive into that, the results for the Bet365 account that I previously used. Now these results are from a subject access request. The template for that is shared in the description down below. So the details that I wanted from Bet365 here is what information did they have on me, who had you shared it with, and how had this led to an account restriction stopping me from placing bets with them in the future. One thing to bear in mind as we go through the numbers here is this is just one Bet365 betting account. There was lots of different accounts open on multiple tabs with different bookmakers who are placing the same bets effectively one after the other whilst doing this. The statement on the screen here shows the total deposit deposits, withdrawals, and amount staked and turned over with the account. So if we deduct the withdrawals from the deposits, you'll soon see that we're £6,667.57 pence in profit on this particular account. Getting to that total profit was a little bit up and down, as you can see on the individual results as we scroll through those here. Some bets were winners, some bets were losers. Typically, stakes were anywhere from £5 up to around about £100. The vast majority of bets were struck on the Greyhound racing, so previous comments that have been on the channel where they say, that that's just for mugs is not true. Sorry, I was just trying to help you guys out. But amongst their response, there was only one thing that Bet365 shared that indicated that they had restricted the account. They didn't actually share any other information other than they had made a note on the account to say exchanges sharp. Now from memory, that was around about the time that the account started to experience state restrictions. For those of you who don't understand what that is, that means that they placed a limit on the amount and size of bets that I could place with Bet365, which was gradually reduced further and further the more that I continued to place bets with this particular account. When asking Bet365 in the chat why this was, they would only tell me trader's decision, which is kind of like code for saying, we don't want your business anymore. Now there are no hidden motives or sponsorships in this video for obvious reasons. So if you guys wouldn't mind helping me out by tapping the subscribe button and liking the video down below, it's all I ask. Now these bets were placed back in 2016 when there was far higher tolerance for companies like Bet365 to accept winning bets. Unfortunately, you may have seen on social media recently that it's far more common for people to be banned and restricted a lot sooner. So this is why people are now using multiple accounts in different people's names just so they can get a bet on with these companies to advertise the chance to win some money. The companies don't want to admit it with their traders' decisions, but I do know why they restricted me in this instance, and it's the strategy that I was using. So I'll now share that with you on the screen here, including an example that happened earlier on today. The way it works is extremely simple because we're not trying to predict the future here and pick the winning team, horse or greyhound. We're just looking for a mathematical situation where the price of something happening is larger than its true probability. If we then continually bet on that larger price than its true chance, we will come out on top over the longer term. There's no question about this whatsoever. For example, if we've got an even money bet where there's 50% chance of something actually happening, decimal odds should be 2.0, fractional odds should be evens, or if you're in American odds, plus 100. This means that for every 100 that we bet, we should get 100 back 50% of the time. However, if we get a larger price, that means we'll get back more than 100, leaving ourselves on top overall. Variance will do its thing and play out over a period of time, but it's an undeniable fact that you will win over the longer term. And this is why bookmakers like to ban people or restrict their betting stakes, because what that does is that limits the variance and doesn't allow it to play out, meaning that you're only allowed to lose. It also means that you could have picked a very good bet and lost money on that, something that a lot of people struggle to get their head around. That's why sometimes, in some instances, people have losing betting accounts or haven't won much money at all, and they find themselves getting state restricted or banned by the sports book. It's it's not fair, it shouldn't be allowed. The government actually allows this to happen and helps the bookmakers do this in the UK, but that's just the way things are. So let's take a look at an example specifically from today where this happened and where you could have made a profit over the longer term if you were placing this bet. So it's Friday the 12th of May, and I'm looking at the Greyhounds markets on Bet365 mid-morning here, and the 11.46 at Harlow stands out to me. Now I've put on the screen there, Betfair Exchange on the left, 
for those of you that don't understand that, we'll explain in a second, and Bet365 over on the right. I'm using the exchange here as my guide to the true price because it is a large market where many participants are involved and it's the closest thing we have to gauging the true price of a bet. Now the reason for this is because betting exchanges are effectively the sum total of the marketplace's view on pricing a bet. So the wisdom of the crowd is at play here. Now the prices move fast on the Greyhounds which is what makes it ideal for this type of situation. To show you a very clean example, you can do it on other sports, more on that in just a second if you like football, but the closer to the start that you're finding bets like this, the better. And the reason for that is that is the point where the betting market market is where it's most well formed and the prices on show are likely to be as accurate as possible. The Betfair starting price is usually the most accurate gauge to the true price of a bet. Now it doesn't mean that these situations are going to appear in every single Greyhounds race or horse race or even football match, but they do appear regularly, particularly on the Greyhounds. So I want to draw your attention to the bottom runner here, the six dog, where the price on Bet365 is currently four to one, which is 5.0 in decimal odds compared to the betting exchange prices over on the left, where it's closer to 4.0. So we know the marketplace values this bet at a price of 4.0, meaning there's an implied chance of it will happen 25% of the time, but we can get paid at the bigger price of five to one on Bet365, and that is what is known as a positive expected value bet. And that is what I was doing on my account to generate those profits by turning over bets consistently. However, it's not just the Greyhound that you can do this on. Check out this video here in the end screen where I show you how it's done on the football too.